The story starts by introducing Jung Soon Gol, a guy who's got misophobia, which means he has an excessive fear of germs and dirt. He's a neat freak and always keeps himself and his house super clean. And he runs a company that cleans people's properties. One day, Soon Gol goes on a first date with a really pretty and successful lady. But things get weird when he notices her ears aren't clean, and he freaks out and leaves the date. His parents are pretty mad at him for canceling the date, especially his mom, who thinks he should be running his grandfather's company instead of obsessing over cleaning. Unbeknownst to Soon Gol, his cleaning robot sneaks out of his house. He freaks out trying to find it because it's a special gift from someone he cares about a lot. On the other hand, Gil Osol is a spirited and independent young woman. She lives with her dad and her little sibling in a simple house. After finishing college, Osol has a hard time finding a job because her lack of self-care and several places turn her down. To fill her time, she works as a server at a cafe. One night, she stumbles upon Soon Gol's cleaning robot in the trash and figures it might still work, so she takes it home. Soon Gol's desperately looking for his stuff, and he checks the security cameras around the apartment complex, spotting a girl finding his robot. When Osol gets back home, she's shocked to find a stranger coming out of her bathroom. There's a whole mess because Osol doesn't realize this guy's a tenant in her house. Things date even crazier when Osol's dad gets hurt and has to go to the clinic, so she takes on his job for the day, which is collecting garbage. While she's collecting garbage, Osol accidentally bumps into a guy she's had a crush on, Dojin. She does everything she can to dodge him, even putting on a horse mask to hide. Many people witness this humorous incident, recording and uploading it on social media. While all this is happening, soon Gol gets a call from Osol's little brother, telling him he's found the thing he was looking for. But then an accident goes down when soon Gol's car gets hit by Osol's cart. He's super mad because his car is damaged and covered in dirt, so he wants her to pay up. He takes off Osol's horse mask, revealing her identity. Even Do Jean is surprised to learn that his college friend works as a garbage collector. After that, Osol decides she wants to change her look. She and her friend Juyan go to a reunion party where Do Jean's hanging out too. She gets all dressed up, and she starts feeling like maybe Do Jean's into her, because he sees her as a caring person, especially since she agreed to help out with her dad's job. The next day, Soon Gol asked Secretary Guan to buy a new car for him. He also wanted to know if they'd found his cleaning robot, which had sentimental value as it was a gift from his caregiver. Suddenly, he remembered that the girl who crashed into him was the one who had taken his robot. Soon Gold demanded a lot of money as compensation, which took Osol by surprise. Since she didn't have a job, she asked for some understanding and offered to return the cleaning robot she'd found in exchange. Later on, Osol met with Dojin because he needed her help. It turned out Dojin wanted Osol to promote a product from his agency to boost sales in the office where he worked. He was taking advantage of Osol's popularity since she became famous on social media for the horse mask incident. On another occasion, Dojin planned to do the same thing for a stomach slimming product. But then, Osol realized Dojin was just using her to make money. Soon Gol happened to witness this, and he was disappointed in Osol. So Osol approached him to return the robot and promised to pay the rest of the compensation next month. While riding the elevator with Dojin, Soon Gol found out that Do Jin was dating multiple women at the same time. This disgusted Soon Gol, and he sprayed some cleaning solution in Do Jin's direction, showing his disapproval. On the other hand, Osol received some good news when she got an interview invitation from a major company. She celebrated with her family, including Ju Yun and a tenant named Ha In. They were hopeful that Osol would got a job at this prestigious company. The next day, Osol realized that she had a lot of competition during the interview process. The interview panel even tested her English skills, which she found challenging. Unfortunately, Osol didn't make it past the first round, leaving her feeling frustrated, but determined to keep looking for a job by attending interviews at different companies. Meanwhile, Osol and her brother, Odol, was hanging out with his friends, practicing taekwondo. But then, things got messy when Odol and his friend Yong Seek tied into a brawl with two janitors over a girl. <laughs> they ended up getting hauled off to the police station for questioning. Soon Gol then come to the police station, who happens to be the boss of those janitors, and Osol also showed up to pick up her brother. When Soon Gol saw her, he remembered that she owed him some money. Now, Soon Gol was actually thinking about firing one of his employees, Dong Yoon, 
especially because he found out that the guy had a criminal record. But Secretary Guan begged him to think it over, because Dong Yun had been a great worker for a long time. On the other hand, Oh Saul's dad unexpectedly lost his job because his company went bankrupt. He was drowning his sorrows in soju at a local bar. When Oh Saul saw her dad looking all sad, she couldn't help but suspect that he was hiding something. The next day, Soon Gol had to go to his grandfather's birthday party, Seo Cha. The dinner event felt incredibly tense. Soon Gol didn't really like his grandfather because he was always meddling in his life. And Seo Cha brought up Soon Gol's illness, which really got him really mad. So he stormed out of the party with a fork scratch on his face, thanks to his grandfather's temper. This whole situation made Soon Gol think about his caregiver, who had passed away. She was the one he leaned on, especially since his mom had left when he was little, and he never knew where his dad was. On the same day, Osol got some bad news. The company she really wanted to work for turned her down, and her shoe got wrecked, like some kind of bad omen. So she drowned her sorrows at a bar, my chance, meeting to Soon Gol when she was buying snacks. Because she was so drunk, she thought Soon Gol was following her to demand money. But in reality, Soon Gol just wanted to be left alone. Still, Oh Saw kept talking about her tough life. When Soon Gol saw her going home barefoot, he felt sorry for her and gave her to sandals. Concerned for her safety in the late hours, the tenant offered to carry her home. The next day, Oh Saw remembered running into Soon Gol the night before. She was working hard at a cafe to pay off her debts, but it wasn't enough to cover what she owed. On her way to work, she saw her dad protesting at his old job. This surprised Oh Saul, and she decided to apply for any job she could find, even if it meant being a janitor. She secretly applied and by chance, ran into Yang Seek, who was friends with Odol. Lucky for her, she passed the physical tests easily, because Yang Seek used to be a high jump athlete. She asked him to keep her new job a secret from her family. Fortunately, she got hired and was set to meet her supervisor. But Oh Saul and Soon Gol ended up bumping into each other again by pure chance. Soon Gol wasn't too happy to see Oh Saul on her first day of work, because she was causing some trouble and even almost had an accident with the cleaning machine during orientation. After work, Oh Saul talked to Ju Yan about Soon Gol, who had this strange habit of washing his hands a lot. Meanwhile, Soon Gol had his own ideas about Oh Saul's cleanliness especially when it came to her hair. Oh Saul couldn't figure out why Soon Gol, out of all people, had to be the boss at her workplace. On her second day of work, Oh Saul still hadn't dared to tell her family about where she was working. She didn't want to let her dad down because he had high hopes for her getting an office job. But her brother, Oh Dole, already knew that Yang Seek worked for a cleaning company. That day at work, Oh Saul bowed along with her co-workers, Dong Yun and Jae Min. They had to clean a really dirty restroom. Unfortunately, one of the staff members treated her poorly, ordering her to clean up spilled coffee. Out of the blue, Soon Gol and Secretary Guan Ch showed up to stand up for her. Soon Gol didn't want Oh Saul's confidence to be crushed, even though she was part of the cleaning team. And they were cleaning an area that wasn't even in their contract. Oh Saul was surprised at how much her boss cared. By the end of the day, Oh Saul was completely worn out, and Ayn approached her. She was curious about what Ayn did because he seemed to know a lot about things, even though he didn't seem to have a job. The next day, Oh Saul overslept and didn't have time to take a shower before heading to work. All she could do was wash her face and apply some hair fragrance. When she showed up at the office, Soon Gold didn't like what he saw, especially with food crumbs near her mouth. Finally, Secretary Guan figured out that the girl Soon Gold wanted to avoid was Oh Saul. Right then, Ju Yan called Oh Saul to talk about Do Jin, who had just broken up with his girlfriend. Hearing his name annoyed Oh Saul, and she didn't want to discuss it any further. But then, Doji messaged her and invited her to meet up. At the same time, Ju Yan was busy cheering on Odal at his Taekwondo match, and that day the company had a welcome event for new employees. Soon Gol realized that Oh Saul wanted to sit next to her, so he tried to come up with excuses to get her to sit far away. <laughs> One night, Oh Saul had a bit too much to drink and ended up babbling in front of a restaurant after her friends had already left. Soon Gol tried calling his secretary to help get Oh Saul home, but he couldn't get a response. Honestly, Soon Gol didn't really want to deal with Oh Saul, but he couldn't stand seeing two guys trying to take advantage of her in that state. So he decided to take her home, making sure to cover the passenger seat with a bunch of plastic bags. When they got close to Oh Saul's house, they ran into Dojin 
who also wanted to take Osol home. Soon Gol had his doubts, especially since Osol had already turned down Dojin's offer. Finally, Odol and Helen stepped in after seeing Osol becoming a point of contention. The next day, Osol suddenly remembered what happened the night before when her boss gave her a ride home. Her dad felt proud because his daughter was getting attention from a guy. On the other hand, Soon Gol was trying to calm down after Osol brought lots of germs into his car and onto himself. The day after that, Soon Gol's mom, Mei Wa, showed up at his office. She introduced an investor to help Soon Gol with his company but he refused because he suspected that the guy might be his mom's new boyfriend. Meiwa apologized and tried to convince Soon Gol, admitting that she had been away for a long time. Osol was listening outside the room, and it seemed like a tense conversation. Soon Gol still remembered why he developed mysophobia so vividly. It was because his mom promised to come back if he took better care of himself. One evening, Dojin asked Osol out for dinner. It seemed like he wanted to get closer to her. But she was already disappointed and told him that she didn't have feelings for him anymore. On the way back from dinner, Osol bumped into Soon Gol by chance. Her words at that moment bothered him a bit because he felt like she was getting involved in his family matters. But actually, Osol was just suggesting that Soon Gol should pay more attention to his mom, who wouldn't be around forever. Still upset about Osol rejecting him the night before, Dojin made fun of her job when they met at the city park. He teased her, saying she wouldn't find a handsome man with that job. When Osol saw Soon Gol coming, she went to ask for his help to pretend to be her boyfriend. But before he could respond, she surprised him with a kiss on the lips. Soon Gol freaked out, thinking his body had been contaminated by germs and needed to go to the hospital. A little while later, Soon Gol woke up and immediately threw up, remembering that kiss with Osol. He told Secretary Guan that he went into shock because he thought his lips got contaminated with bird droppings. Osol felt really guilty and didn't expect things to blow up like this. She wanted to visit Soon Gol in the hospital's VIP room, where he was being treated, but he sent her away. He felt uncomfortable being near her and was pretty mad about getting dragged into her romantic stuff, even though it was just a kiss. So, Osol talked to Juyan about Soon Gol's dramatic words, like calling her a germ factory because of the kiss. Soon Gol was furious after his first kiss with Osol because he thought it messed up the cleanliness of his mouth that he had taken care of for years. Meanwhile, Osol went to pick up her dad when he was protesting at his old workplace. Her dad's words made her feel guilty because he had worked so hard to give her a better life. But she hadn't made him proud yet. She then promised to make enough money so her dad wouldn't have to work anymore. On the other hand, Yang Seek and Jade Mean were still not getting along, even though they were on the same team. They had clashed a while ago, but Yang Seek didn't give up. He tried to make peace and become friends with Jae Min. At the office, Soon Go was feeling pretty annoyed because he kept seeing Oh Sol everywhere. One day, he saw his employees playing with water in the park next to the office, and it actually made him smile a bit. He noticed Oh Sol's cheerful smile for a moment, but he still felt awkward around Secretary Guan. To make things worse, Oh Sol accidentally sprayed liquid in Soon Go's direction, and it really angered him. Not long after, Secretary Guan met with Meiwa to talk about Soon Gol's condition. He had been admitted to the hospital because he brushed his teeth too much and had gum irritation. They decided to introduce Soon Gol to a psychiatrist who learned from an American professor. Now, let's switch to Osol. She had a guy who looked like a doctor visit her home, but it turned out he came for counseling because Ha In was a psychiatrist himself. Osol didn't know that, so she thought the opposite, that he needed counseling. Ha-in kept his profession a secret from Oh Sol's family, with reasons yet unknown. Secretary Guan was worried about Soon Gol's increased sensitivity, and she suggested that he see Dr. Daniel, leaving the doctor's phone number on his desk. Soon Gol eventually contacted the doctor, who turned out to be Ha-in. Ha-in said that the physical contact trauma experienced by mysophobia patients would go away in the next four weeks. The next day was the anniversary of Oh Sol's mother's death and she always acted a bit strange on that day. She cleaned the whole house and dressed up nicely to make sure her mom's spirit was at peace and didn't have to worry about the family because Oh Sol could handle things. Her fancy makeup surprised her friends and soon goal at the office. Soon goal suspected that after work, Oh Sol might be going on a blind date. On that day, they had to clean the house of a guy who collected action figures. The man asked them to be careful because the items were super rare and expensive. 
but in a rush, one of the workers accidentally knocked over his collection without realizing it, and Osan got blamed. The truth was, Osan's foot got hurt when she stepped on one of the items that was already damaged. When Sungo found out, he called the four employees and asked for an explanation of what happened. He ended up firing Osol, thinking she wasn't good at her job. Sometime later, Osol went to visit her mother's ashes storage place. She was feeling down because she got fired because of a misunderstanding. Osol shared her troubles with her late mom and left a bouquet of flowers. But then, she noticed a yogurt drink nearby and started looking for the person who left it there. After a while, Osol couldn't find the person, so she headed back home. On the way, she sat on some stairs and thought about things. That's when Hanin came along to keep her company. Drinking the yogurt helped Osol feel better. It reminded her of how her mom used to give her the same drink when she was sad. But as they were heading home, they bumped into Soon Gol, who wanted to say sorry. He felt bad about how he had treated Osol and asked her to come back to work to fix all the mess that had happened. The next day, Soon Gol called the guy who owned the action figures to come to the office. They made an agreement and Soon Gold told the man to apologize directly to O oh Saul for wrongly accusing her. Right then, Soon Gol and Secretary Guan came to talk to O oh Saul. This caught her off guard, and she ended up falling down the stairs. Soon Gol quickly saved her, surprising everyone because he had mysophobia and usually didn't touch people. He remembered his doctor saying he could be cured if he fell in love. After this, Soon Gol's hand was bandaged, and he called his doctor for more answers about his condition. Dr. Daniel recommended testing by touching objects belonging to others. Soon Gol went to the office kitchen to give it a try, but failed a few times. Just when he was about to touch a glass that belonged to Osol, some co-workers showed up to take a break. After work, Osol's dad asked her to take some food to butt in. While they shared some soju, it finally opened up to each other and promised to have each other's backs. On the other hand, Hain had a secret crush on a cheerful and lovely girl. After Osol left, Ha In remembered the girl who gave him yogurt while he was on a work break. That girl was Osol, who had visited her mother's workplace. Since then, Osol had a special place in Hamin's heart. On the other hand, Soon Gol was looking at Osol glass that he had brought home and thinking about how his condition seemed to get better when he was near her or her stuff. Soon Gol tried to distract himself by watching TV, but it only made it tough for him to sleep. It seemed like he was starting to develop feelings for her. The next day, Soon Gol wanted to talk to Secretary Guan, but he ended up overhearing O Saul confessing that she liked him. When he got home, O Saul's confession kept replaying in his mind. His heart was racing, and he couldn't focus on anything else. Suddenly, O Saul surprised him by trying to give him homemade soup. Instead of taking the soup, Soon Gol confessed his feelings to her. They both felt awkward, and Soon Gol eventually took back his words. It was the first time he let someone into his super clean home and they spent time getting to know each other better. Before leaving, Osol wanted to clean the glass she had used, but soon Gol stopped her. He didn't want her to know that her glass was at his place. Then, one day, soon Gol changed his hairstyle after getting compliments from Osol. Secretary Guan felt that something was off about her boss's transformation, and there was a time when Osol had to clean a place that was on the company's blacklist. Soon Gol panicked when he found out that Osol was sent alone to a dangerous location. He rushed to rescue her and even took off his bandage to drive more freely. When they got there, Soon Gol confronted the troublemaker and got Osol out of there. He had an injured hand, so Osol tried to give him first aid. But in a surprising twist, Soon Gol held Osol's hand and kissed her, and Dr. Daniel saw it happen from afar. The next day, Osol went through a bit of a transformation. She started taking better care of herself, showering and washing her hair every day. She even began dressing up before going to work and touching up her makeup during breaks in the restroom. One day, she overheard female co-workers talking about the incident where Soon Gol caught a culprit. To her surprise, they were actually talking about her. While Soon Gol was checking on the work, he noticed O Saul with Jay Mean. Jay Mean was teasing her and even kissed her head to smell her hair. This made Soon Gol pretty upset and a bit jealous. He scolded them for what seemed like no reason, and Jay Mean got suspicious. O Saul blushed and felt self-conscious under her boss's gaze. Then one day, Soon Gol went to visit Seo Cha, who wanted him to find a girlfriend. But Soon Gol hadn't really thought about it yet. He was also frustrated with his mother, who kept changing her boyfriend. While Soon Gol was feeling annoyed, he ran into Osol on his way. Osol was still wondering why Soon Gol had kissed her the other day and hadn't explained himself since then. 
she felt like he was playing with her emotions. Soon Gol apologized for his behavior and made it clear he wasn't interested in a romantic relationship with her. After hearing Soon Gol's confession, Oh Saul sat down and started drinking soju to ease her sadness. Han, also known as Daniel, came to keep her company. Oh Saul vented her frustration about Soon Gol's actions and tried to stay positive. She changed the subject by asking about Daniel's progress with the girl he liked, but he stayed quiet, waiting for the right moment. The next day, Oh Saul crossed paths with Soon Gol and Secretary Guan. Secretary Guan noticed the change in Osol and sensed something was happening between them. During a company meeting, Soon Gol couldn't stop thinking about Osol. Osol confided in Ju Yan, considering her a trustworthy friend. She shared how Soon Gol had been inconsiderate after messing with her emotions. Unexpectedly, Soon Gol overheard Osol's words as he was nearby. Meanwhile, Yang Sik invited Odol to meet up and shared his feeling about being rejected by the girl he liked. But in the process, he accidentally revealed about Oh Saul's job. This made Odol rush to see his sister at work, with Yang Sik felt guilty for causing a rift between the siblings. Oh Saul asked Odol to help her keep her job a secret from their father. She didn't want to sadden him by revealing she was working as a janitor, which wasn't what he expected. To make amends, Oh Saul invited Odol and Yang Sik for a meal. However, Odol couldn't hide his disappointment and pity for his hardworking sister. Nevertheless, Ostal admitted that she loved and enjoyed her job. Meanwhile, Secretary Guan was meeting with Seo Cha. She reported on Soon Gol's condition, saying it was improving because of a girl. Seo Cha got curious about Osal upon hearing this. On the other hand, Soon Gol called Dr. Daniel to discuss his issues. He hadn't even noticed his air purifier malfunctioning because he couldn't stop thinking about Osal calling him rude. Daniel provided an answer to Soon Gol's concerns suspecting that the girl was special to him, even though Soon Gol couldn't confirm it himself. The next day, Oh Sol bumped into Daniel on his way to work. She thought he wanted to go on a date and encouraged him, but during their outing, they ran into Soon Gol, who asked Oh Sol about the insult she had thrown at him. Oh Sol's response made Soon Gol feel guilty, as she didn't want to be treated poorly by an irresponsible man. Soon Gol didn't want to share all his problems with Secretary Guan but he also didn't want her to know his current condition. He pretended he was talking about a friend's experience, but Guan saw through his lie and encouraged him to acknowledge his feelings. On the other hand, Ju Yan invited Oh Saul to her campus to reveal that the tenant in her house, whom she thought was unemployed, was actually a doctor. Meanwhile, Soon Gol decided to follow Guan's advice and tried to meet Oh Saul on campus, but he failed when he saw her with Daniel, who wanted to confess his feelings to her. Daniel took Oh Sol out for dinner, which Soon Gol observed, feeling disappointed in himself. Oh Sol still couldn't believe that Daniel was a psychiatrist who liked her as an ordinary girl. But Daniel assured her that her background didn't matter to him. To Oh Sol, Daniel was still the person who lived in her attic. She didn't want to feel self-conscious around him. After learning that Daniel had confessed his feelings to Oh Sol, Soon Gol decided not to continue his counseling sessions with him. He sensed something different about Daniel and he remembered that Daniel was the neighbor who was near Osal when she was drunk. Soon Gol wanted to confirm Daniel's identity with Guan. She assured him that Daniel was the best psychiatrist recommended by the American doctor, who had treated Soon Gol before. Soon Gol became increasingly frustrated as he witnessed the growing closeness between Osal and Daniel. To vent his frustration, he made Osal attend cleanliness training every day. One day, Osal received a call from Guan asking for help to stand in as secretary. Soon Gol was surprised to see Oh Saul in his office, now working as his secretary. She shouted Soon Gol for a full day. Soon Gol realized he had moved too quickly, and Oh Saul needed time to adapt. So he slowed down and allowed Oh Saul to work closely with him. Inside an elevator, they were interrupted by a mosquito, causing Oh Saul to slip and fall into Soon Gol's arms. Their position was seen by an employee waiting for the elevator. Oh Saul felt embarrassed and try to explain what had happened to avoid any misunderstanding. They were at an airport, and Soon Gol was supposed to attend a meeting with clients, but he felt unable to face them due to his airport-related trauma. Oh Saul helped protect him from the crowds, even opening an umbrella to create a barrier between them and the people walking around. Soon Gol felt at ease knowing that Oh Saul was taking good care of him. All of this was observed by Secretary Guan and Soon Gol's grandfather, as Oh Saul helped Soon Gol through his airport trauma. Oh Saul felt relieved when Soon Gol successfully finished his meeting with the clients, 
and she noticed that his mood had improved. On their way back, Soon Gol saw that Oh Saul was uncomfortable in her shoes, so he kindly gave her a pair to make her more comfortable. Yeah, a bit later, Soon Gol arrived near Oh Saul's house, but she had already fallen asleep. He looked at her for a moment and ended up falling asleep himself. When they woke up, they were surprised to find themselves both asleep in the car. When they arrived at her house, Oh Saul had a heated argument with her father who had discovered that she was working as a janitor, and he insisted that she quit her job. The next day, Soon Gol got the news that Osal was sick and couldn't come to work. He felt guilty for making her work late the night before. Soon Gol went to visit Osal at her house and coincidentally ran into her outside. Osal told him about the argument she had with her father over her job. Later, Soon Gol met with Osal's father to convince him to let her keep her job. After a lot of persuasion, Osal's father agreed to let her continue working. Soon Gol reassured O Saul that he would do everything to keep her at the company because he didn't want her to leave. O Saul's father, unable to sleep, invited her to have Soju together and talked about his desire for her to find a different job. O Saul hadn't considered finding a new job because she was comfortable with her current one, even though it wasn't highly regarded. Her father couldn't do much after hearing her reasons. At her workplace, O Saul's friends heard the news of her returning to the company and organized a welcome party for her. Soon Gol was also happy to hear about her return. After leaving the office, Oh Saul planned to have Soju with her friends at a barbecue place. Soon Gol intentionally delayed going home because he wanted to give Oh Saul a ride. When Guan saw Soon Gol at the office, she immediately told him where Oh Saul was. Not long after, Soon Gol showed up at the barbecue place where Oh Saul and her colleagues were hanging out. At first, he watched from a distance and didn't plan to join them. But dressed in unusual clothes, he decided to join O Saul and her co-workers. However, Soon Gol's presence made things a bit awkward. After they finished their drinks, Soon Gol wanted to give O Saul a ride home, but his car got towed because he parked it illegally. He turned down several ride options for some unclear reason, and finally, they chose to walk home together. As they walked on a pedestrian bridge, they came across romantic writings expressing love. O Saul sweetly gave Soon Gol her homemade chocolates as a way of saying thanks. The next day, Soon Gol's mom was surprised to find chocolates in her son's house. She knew that Soon Gol never really liked chocolates. Secretary Guan thought about trying one, but Soon Gol quickly grabbed them, treating them like they were super precious. Meanwhile, O Saul and her friends had to clean up an office at a company. O Saul was in charge of an office with really important papers. She was working really hard when suddenly a guy showed up and messed up those important documents on purpose, and O Saul got into trouble because of it. Soon Gol heard about all the commotion from his employees and rushed over. When he got there, he kept defending O Saul after making sure she didn't do anything wrong. Secretary Guan was confused because Soon Gol kept sticking up for O Saul, even though it didn't make sense for a CEO to do that. O Saul felt bad for getting Soon Gol involved in this mess. When they checked the security camera footage, it still looked like O Saul was to blame. Secretary Guan told Soon Gol to follow the office rules and fire O Saul. But Soon Gol refused because he didn't want to lose O Saul. However, O Saul decided to leave the company anyway. At that moment, O Saul felt really sad about the choice she made. She thought it wasn't fair to her. She cried all by herself, and that's when Daniel came up to her. On the other hand, O Dole got some bad news about his dad getting into a fight with some tough guys on the street. They had a big argument because O Dole got really mad when he saw those guys mistreating his father. Without thinking, O Dole jumped into a fight with those two guys and the police took him to the station. His actions put his dream university at risk. Osal tried to find a way to help and kept talking to those guys, begging them not to press charges. But it didn't seem to be working. Then, Secretary Guan heard the news and made a deal with Osal. Meanwhile, Soon Gol felt like his day was a total mess. He decided to head home and take a break. But when he got there, he was surprised to find Osal inside. She introduced herself as a helper in Soon Gol's house and said she'd be staying there while working. Soon Gol couldn't really wrap his head around all the sudden changes in his life, so he thought it'd be a good idea to stay in a hotel. Sadly, he couldn't relax because he was worried about the hotel's cleanliness. He even brought his staff along to clean it up before his stay. But in the end, he got kicked out for breaking the rules. Soon Gol then made a decision to stay in his office for the night. But out of the blue, O Sol came up to him and suggested that he go back home. After thinking it over, 
Soon Gol finally decided to take Osol's advice. Surprisingly, he even allowed his mom to stay at his house for the first time. Osol being around seemed to make a little change in Soon Gol's mood. Even though he was at home, he couldn't manage to get some sleep. When he tried to approach Osol, his mom suddenly came out to grab a drink. This startled Soon Gol, so he hid and accidentally hugged Osol, waking her up. But then, Soon Gol signaled Osol to stay quiet until his mom left the room. Once his mom was gone, Soon Gol brought a blanket for Osol because he knew the sofa wasn't too comfortable for her. The next day, Osol had plans to cook dinner for Soon Gol. But instead of cooking, she ended up making a big mess in the house. When Soon Gol came back and saw the chaos, he didn't get angry and decided to eat with her. Osol felt guilty seeing Soon Gol cleaning up all by himself, and she wasn't even allowed to help. Osol remembered Secretary Guan's advice about causing a bit of chaos while working. Guan had suggested it to help Soon Gol get better. On the other hand, Soon Gol felt bad for scolding Osol the previous night, so he bought her various bath and skincare products. He even got her a pair of rabbit shaped house slippers that matched his own. Osol felt really happy because it made her feel special to Soon Gol. Later, Osol got a video call from her dad. She quickly found a private spot to answer the call, and on the screen, she showed her dad and Daniel from a distance. They asked how she was doing in Busan. Osol lied again, saying she was fine. Ever since she started working as an assistant in Soon Gol's house, Osol had been lying to her family, telling them the company sent her to work out of town. But Daniel was getting suspicious and knew Osol was hiding something. At one point, Osol had a meeting with Soon Gol's grandfather at the request of Secretary Guan. Siucha told Osol not to fall in love with his grandson and to just do what she was told. It was tough for her, but Osol followed his instructions. She didn't want Siucha to cancel the assistance he promised her, which would put her brother in a tough spot because of his criminal record. Osol put aside her own feelings for her brother's sake. Even when Soon Gol confessed his feelings, Osol turned him down firmly and said she wasn't interested in him. Hearing that, Soon Gol promised Osol that he would make her change her mind and fall in love with him. The next day, Soon Gol tried a bunch of things to get Osol's attention. He cooked breakfast so they could eat together, but Osol was still feeling awkward about what happened the night before. She couldn't even focus on eating with Soon Gol. Then, out of the blue, Soon Gol wiped some food crumbs off Osol's face with his bare hands and helped her in different ways, which made Osol even more worried. On the other hand, Daniel met up with Secretary Guan to find out where Osol had gone. He knew that Soon Gol's side had made up the story about Osol going to Busan. Finally, Guan told Daniel where Osol was. She also offered to become Soon Gol's personal doctor to help him with his condition. Daniel did this because he wanted to rescue Osol from an unfair deal. Even at that moment, Daniel knew that Seo Chiu was doing it for personal reasons. Not long after, Daniel showed up at Soon Gol's house and introduced himself as Ha-in, saying he'd be Soon Gol's personal doctor. Soon Gol didn't want a personal doctor living with him, so he refused. But then, Oh Sol helped Ha-in by hinting that Soon Gol might be some kind of perverted man who just wanted to live with her. When Soon Gol heard that, he finally agreed to let Ha-in stay. Later, Oh Sol wanted to take out the trash and have in went with her. She asked him why he came to Soon Gol's house, but instead of answering, Ha and asked Osol why she decided to lie about her job. Osol explained that she didn't want her brother to end up in the same tough situation as her. Ha and tried to understand Osol's reasons, and he decided to help her with the mission to cure Soon Gol's condition. He also asked Osol to talk with him about how to counsel and help Soon Gol. On the other hand, Soon Gol wasn't too happy about Ha and being around. He complained to Siocha to stop Ha-in from becoming his personal doctor. But at that moment, Siocha didn't pay any attention to Soon Gol's request. Not stopping there, Meiwa deliberately invited Soon Gol to day one's book launch. Soon Gol made sure to tell Oh Sol about all the worst case scenarios if he went to the event. But Oh Sol didn't get worried. In front of Soon Gol, she actually supported his decision to attend and follow his mother's request. Honestly, Oh Sol regretted it but she had promised Seo Chad to do the job without having any feelings for Soon Gol. The next day, Soon Gol said goodbye to Osol because he wanted to drop Ai Hei Wan's book launch. Osol assured him that she was okay with it and supported his choices. But after Soon Gol left, Osol had to hold back her worries and jealousy. Soon Gol's intention in visiting Hei Wan was to kindly let her know he wasn't interested and that he liked someone else. He asked Hei Wan to stop pursuing him. 
However, Soon Gol's visit got him into a tricky situation. Now, there were rumors that he was dating Haewon, and the news had spread all over Seoul. Even Osal's friend asked her out for a drink to comfort her. Meanwhile, Hyun did something similar. He took Osal shopping for lobster to beat his boredom, but unexpectedly, they bumped into a fortune teller who Hyun knew. The fortune teller seemed suspicious because he recognized Osal. When they got back from the event, they had a chat in the underground parking lot. Osal felt thankful that Hyun was trying to help her deal with her sadness. But soon Gol noticed this and got even more frustrated. He couldn't hide his feelings anymore when he saw how close Osal and Hyun were getting. So he put his pride aside and joined them to disrupt the event. He didn't come to eat. He just wanted to make sure Osal didn't misunderstand an article that came out that day. Soon Gold even explained to Osal that he had no romantic relationship with A1. Soon Gold confessed his feelings to Osal once again, telling her that he only had affection for her. The next day, Hyun showed up at Soon Gold's office. Soon Gold could tell that Hyun had some hidden reason for visiting. As it turns out, Hyun had a deal with Soon Gold to go through counseling for his recovery. But if Soon Gold didn't get better, Hyun agreed to leave his house. Soon Gold agreed to these terms and committed to finishing the counseling. The counseling sessions between Soon Gol and Hyun finally started to work. Hyun explained that Soon Gol's condition had gotten a bit better. Soon Gol even allowed Osal to stay with him. After talking about Osal, Soon Gol asked Hyun a similar question. He wanted to make sure that Hyun and Osal were just friends and that Hyun wasn't trying to steal her away from him. Hearing this, Soon Gol couldn't hide his happiness. He even acted a bit oddly around Osal and they ended up drinking together until they ran out of alcohol. The next day, Osal felt a bit uncomfortable around Soon Gol. But Soon Gol had his own way of easing the tension. He asked Osal to cook a meal together and have lunch. During their time together, Soon Gol kept expressing his love for Osal, thinking that she felt the same way. However, Osal quickly cleared things up and said there was a misunderstanding. But Soon Gol wasn't ready to give up on winning Osal's heart. Osal then met up with Ju Yan to talk about the agreement she made with Soon Gol's grandfather. She didn't want to break the promise because she was worried it might affect Odal negatively. Ju Yan thought the agreement was a bit unfair and encouraged Osal to be honest about her feelings. Ju Yan knew that her friend also had feelings for Soon Gol. On the other hand, Ha In invited Osal to watch a TV program about underwater scenes. Osal expressed her wish to see it in person. Right away, Soon Gol invited Osal to visit an underwater aquarium in Seoul. However, their time together got interrupted by Osal's three friends. Soon Gol took Osal away from there, but their efforts were in vain when Jae Min spotted Osal. After making sure they were safe from Jae Min and his friends, Osal suggested they go for a walk. They saw a school of fish swimming together, and Soon Gol asked Osal to stay with him, believing that he could face anything as long as she was there. The next day, Osal met up with her three friends for a soju drinking session. They chatted and caught up since they hadn't seen Osal in a while. Suddenly, Dong Yun got a call that his grandmother was seriously ill. They rushed to the hospital, and there, Osal saw Soon Gol, who couldn't hide his concern. Osal found out that Soon Gol was the one helping with Dong Yun's grandmother's medical expenses. He was the only one willing to give Dong Yun a job at his company, despite his criminal background. Osal's heart melted when she saw how sincere Soon Gol was in helping his friend. They headed back home together, and to their surprise, Meiwa arrived with a bunch of photos to show her son. Meiwa wanted Soon Gol to start dating, but he kept refusing. He wanted his mother to stop her matchmaking efforts. He introduced Osal as the person he liked. Meiwa was shocked by her son's confession, especially when Soon Gol explained that his feelings were one-sided. The next day, Meiwa invited Osal to have a meal together outside. She asked why Osal didn't like her son, even though Soon Gol had everything. Osal honestly admitted that their social statuses were very different, and she felt like she wasn't worthy of dating Soon Gol. Hearing this, Meiwa suspected that her father was behind Soon Gol's unsuccessful love life. She confronted Seo Cha and expressed her anger at her father's interference in Soon Gol's life. Instead of that, Mei Wa came up with a plan for shock therapy to help Soon Gol overcome his phobia. However, the therapy she organized caused Soon Gol to faint because of the overwhelming number of people in his house. He also couldn't find Osol, who had been his source of strength in tough times. Osol immediately started looking for Soon Gol when she heard he wasn't feeling well. She got angry at the chaos in the house and kicked everyone out. 
When she saw Sun Go lying weak on his bed, Oh Saul felt sad and decided to take care of him for the night. Ha In, who witnessed this, felt sorry, and even gave her a blanket to make sure Oh Saul could sleep comfortably. When Sun Go woke up, he didn't find Oh Saul by his side. He hurriedly left the room and started searching for her. But Oh Saul was actually busy with something else. Sun Go felt relieved when he realized she was still in his house. From then on, he kept asking Oh Saul not to leave him alone in any situation. He couldn't stand being away from her. Meanwhile, Hun met with Secretary Guan to discuss the accident that took Oh Saul's mother's life. Guan was concerned because if the truth came out, it would hurt both Sun Gaul and Oh Saul. She didn't want to see them heartbroken after all they had been through. At that time, Oh Saul wanted to visit the place where her mother's ashes were kept. Sun Gaul insisted on going with her because he didn't want to be apart from her. During the journey, Sun Gaul's condition made him anxious in crowded places but he still felt happy because he was trying new things with Osol. When they arrived there, Osol proudly introduced Sun Gol as her boyfriend and talked about the challenges they had overcome together. Osol was torn between not wanting to hurt Odol and not wanting to ignore her own feelings. The next day, Osol decided to meet with Secretary Guan and resign from her job. She wanted to end everything and choose to enjoy life as Sun Gol's girlfriend. But Osol was aware of the consequences she might face. Guan discovered that Seo Cha had made an agreement with Oh Sol not to date, so she went to see Seo Cha and begged him not to stand in the way of their relationship. However, it was clear that the fact about the age he grew, which Seo Cha had found it, would still be a challenge for both of them. After deciding to resign, Oh Sol left Sun Gol's house. Ayin was glad that she had made the right choice. Oh Sol continued to fight for her younger brother, who was in trouble for beating up a thug some time ago. She decided to distribute a petition to seek justice for her brother, but it turned out to be too difficult to do alone. Eventually, Sun Gol brought his employees to help Oh Saul distribute the petition. Oh Saul felt fortunate to be surrounded by kind people willing to assist her. After handing out the flyers, Oh Saul received news that the CCTV footage capturing her brother's incident had been found. It turned out that Hang In had sought Secretary Guan's assistance to obtain the CCTV recording. Oh Saul then brought Sun Gol along to go home together and confirm his happy news. Upon reaching there, Oh Saul's father questioned Sun Gol about his relationship with his daughter. Without wasting any time, Sun Gol asked Oh Saul's father for permission to date and take care of his daughter. Hearing this, Oh Saul's father felt relieved because his daughter was now with a responsible man like Sun Gol. The next day, a little caught Ju Yan on a blind date. He seemed jealous whenever Ju Yan met someone new. Odal asked her to stop searching for a partner and just date him after he won a gold medal in the Olympics. A few days later, Osol met with Mei Hua to tell her that she had decided to resign and choose to date Sun Gol. Mei Hua was delighted to hear the news. She was finally happy to see her son had found someone to be with. After meeting with Mei Hua, Osol headed to the office to meet her boyfriend. They went to share the happy news with Osol's three friends. Now, Osol felt thrilled because she could openly date without hiding. After leaving the office, Oh Saul invited Sun Gold to have dinner at his house. They watched a movie, had a meal together, and it ended with Oh Saul not wanting to leave, so she spent the night. The next morning, Oh Saul received a message from Odol that their father was angry because she didn't return home all night. She finally went home and made an excuse that she stayed over at Juyan's house. Odol suspected that Oh Saul was lying and called Juyan to verify it. Fortunately, Ju Yan's response saved Oh Saul from her brother and father's anger. On the other hand, Han In went to the hospital because he received a job offer there. However, at that moment, he declined the offer, feeling unprepared. After finishing all his business, Han In saw Seo Chao arriving at the hospital with his bodyguards. In another place, Soon Gul bumped into Oh Saul at the playground. He saw his girlfriend playing with a little child, and it brought back memories of his own childhood. He remembered there was a mischievous girl who used to play pranks on him. Oh Saul felt like she knew the story because she had experienced something similar. She suspected that the boy she used to tease was actually Sun Gol. It turned out that they had a connection from childhood with their unique personalities. Their relationship became even happier, and Oh Saul started adopting some of Sun Gol's cleanliness habits. She began cleaning her room and surprised everyone with her new habit. After tidying up the house, Ha'in invited Oh Saul to relax in his room. While she waited for Hud in to make coffee, Oh Saul noticed several receipts for flower purchases at her mother's resting place. This made her curious, and she asked Hud in about the meaning behind these receipts. 
Osol returned home and asked her father about the flower receipts, but he avoided the question and said he hadn't visited her mother's grave yet. Osol's suspicion of Hot In grew stronger because she felt he was hiding something. Meanwhile, Soon Gol fulfilled Osol's wish for a cinema date. He organized it with three employees who disguised themselves as workers. Osol had already noticed the unusual emptiness of the cinema on a weekend, but she went along with Soon Gol's plan. She knew her boyfriend was trying to make her happy. The following day, Soon Gol invited Hut into the office to discuss the progress of his condition, which had been bothering him. He felt bad that Osol couldn't have a normal date because of his condition. Osol also wanted to make some changes in her life. She aimed to discover her passion and work in a way that suited her skills. Her father was pleased with her decision to follow her dreams. Meanwhile, Secretary Guan approached Seo Cha, seemingly wanting to resign because she didn't want to be part of decisions that made Soon Gol sad. However, Seo Cha was still determined to harm O Dol's career. On the other hand, O Sol was studying at the library. She then received a delightful surprise from Soon Gol to boost her studies. He had set up a bunch of decorated balloons in front of the library. Meanwhile, Hud had met with Secretary Guan to express his gratitude for her help in obtaining the CCTV footage for Odol's case. He also inquired about Guan's connection with Seo Cha. It turned out that Guan considered Soon Gol as her own child, as she had a child with the same condition as him. She wanted to ensure Soon Gol's happiness in life, but she had been missled by Seo Cha, who cared only about himself. After meeting with Secretary Guan, Hut in confronted Seo Cha. He urged her to stop tormenting Osol's family and reminded him that his actions had indirectly caused Osol's mother's death. Despite the warning, Seo Cha remained unafraid and continued his efforts to harm Odol. During this time, Odol and his father realized that Seo Cha, the head of the Adj Group Company, was the mastermind behind all of this. Odol's father claimed that Soon Gol's family was responsible for his mother's murder. This revelation left everyone, including Osol, feeling angry and betrayed. Osol even decided to end her relationship with Soon Gol. After their separation, Soon Gol had a hard time finding Osol. His worry affected his work, and he eventually turned to Hai in for help to check on Osol's well being. While talking to Hai in, Soon Gol spotted Osol from afar. He tried to get her attention to talk and mend their relationship, but Osol continued to reject him sticking to her decision to separate. Soon Gol was still puzzled by Osol's change in attitude. He decided to go back to the office but saw a commotion outside the building. Osol's younger brother was trying to enter to meet Seo Cha. It turned out that Odal wanted Soon Gol's help to meet with Seo Cha. After learning that Osol's mother had been a victim of the Adj Group project six years ago, Soon Gol confronted Seo Cha. He was angry and disappointed because his grandfather had caused suffering to the victim's family. However, Seo Cha remained indifferent and didn't pay attention to Soon Gol's words. As the days passed, Soon Gol couldn't help but miss Osol more and more. He could only watch her from a distance and even followed her on her way home. In an attempt to ensure her safety, he went as far as repairing streetlights. Soon Gol's illness appeared to be getting worse after their separation. He became increasingly obsessed with cleanliness, to the point where he hurt his hands from excessive washing. Hyden tried to offer counseling, but his presence was rejected and he was kicked out of Soon Gol's house. Soon Gol seemed to lose his motivation to recover from his illness. Seeing her son's deteriorating condition, Mei Hua met with Osol and persuaded her to meet Soon Gol. During this encounter, she ran into Ha In, who had just left Soon Gol's house. Osol asked him about Soon Gol, but Hanin's response didn't entirely ease her concerns. The following day, Seo Che came to the office to meet his grandson, hoping to pass the Adj Group company to Soon Gol. However, he refused because he didn't want to be part of the questionable business that had caused issues with Osol. It was then that Soon Gol discovered that his own grandfather was the major contributor to his company, leaving him feeling betrayed by someone so close. Overwhelmed by emotions, Soon Gol decided to leave, but this decision led to a tragic accident, putting him in a coma for a week. Osol blamed herself for his condition and begged him to wake up, fearing she might lose the man she loved. It was a difficult and lengthy struggle at the hospital to be by Soon Gol's side. Osol even had to confront Seo Cha, who tried to keep her from seeing his grandson again. Osol's life had been quite gloomy for a whole week, but then she received the wonderful news that Soon Gol had finally woken up. As soon as Soon Gol regained consciousness, he eagerly looked for Osol. Mei informed him that Osol had been taking care of him while he was in a coma. 
Soon Go couldn't wait to see her, but unfortunately, she was nowhere to be found at that moment. Nevertheless, he was immensely relieved to see Oh Saul in good health. He apologized for his family's mistakes and expressed his gratitude for having Oh Saul in his life. Not long after, Soon Go made the decision to step down from his CEO position. It was now that he planned to go to America, following his grandfather's wishes. Soon Go bid farewell to his three loyal employees who had been supporting him all along. He asked Oh Saul about the meaning of the sticker she had given him recently, and she explained that it symbolized a second chance. Under the guise of meeting Hain, Soon Go actually visited Oh Saul's house to give her a necklace. He missed the moments they had shared together, but he had to leave for America to continue his life. Meanwhile, Seo Cho went to Oh Saul's house to offer his apologies. He had come to realize that he bore responsibility for the tragedy that had befallen Oh Saul's family. It was then that Oh Saul herself also understood that the blame shouldn't fall on Soon Go. She intended to follow him to the airport but couldn't locate him. He had already departed. In an effort to express his remorse, Seo Cho held a press conference to clarify the tragedy and pledged to personally donate all his assets. Around the same time, Oh Saul decided to visit her mother's grave, where she encountered her three friends. It turned out that they had been sent by Soon Go to tend to the site. She couldn't help but feel selfish for constantly placing blame on Soon Go. Two years passed and Soon Go returned to Seoul in much better health. His illness had been cured, freeing him from his obsession with cleanliness. On his way home, he spotted Oh Sol, who had just finished work. It seemed that Oh Sol's life had undergone changes as well. She now worked for a sports company and was living in accordance with her family's wishes. Soon Gol pulled over his car and approached Oh Sol. He was full of regret for everything that had transpired and handed her the sticker he had cherished, pleading for another chance to repair their relationship. His return brought joy to his mother, who now fully supported his relationship with Oh Sol and even contemplated taking it to a more serious level. Soon Gol had also forgiven his grandfather upon hearing that Seo Cha had apologized and donated all his assets. Soon Gol remained a determined man. He resumed his business endeavors to win Oh Sol's heart, going to great lengths such as cleaning the windows of Oh Sol's office, which resulted in him taking a fall. Upon witnessing the incident, Oh Sol rushed down to his side. As they shared a meal together once again, Soon Gol made his move but he faced rejection once more. Oh Saul didn't want to continue her relationship with him. She was afraid of hurting her family by being involved with the person indirectly responsible for her mother's death. However, soon Gold didn't give up and continued to express his feelings to Oh Saul. Meanwhile, Odal was struggling with his taekwondo talent. He cut training hard until he successfully made it to the national team as a representative of their country. Oh Saul's father was proud of his son's achievement, but his happiness faded when he saw Soon Go there. Soon Go persisted in seeking forgiveness from Oh Saul's family, even though his presence was unwelcome. After drinking soju with Oh Saul and her co workers, he got drunk and revealed the pain he had endured for the past two years, unable to forget Oh Saul. While Soon Go was asleep, Oh Saul began to express her feelings, confessing that she missed him deeply. However, at that moment, she didn't want to be selfish and hurt her family. Soon Gol thanked her for helping him recover from his illness during his time in America. Their relationship grew closer, and they let go of any lingering grudges. Soon Gol invited his four employees to share a meal with him and talk to them about his plans to start a new company. These employees agreed to join him in rebuilding his business from the ground up. On the other hand, Osal's father slowly began to appreciate Soon Gol's efforts and saw the sincerity in his character. They even shared a drink together without any lingering resentment. Now, Oh Saul's father approved of his daughter's relationship with Soon Gol. After visiting his late wife's ashes, Oh Saul's father encouraged his daughter to meet with Soon Gol. He understood that she still had feelings for him and gave his blessing, hoping to end her two years of suffering. Upon hearing this, Oh Saul immediately approached Soon Gol and invited him to start anew. Their relationship improved as their feelings for each other remained strong and unchanging. Moral lesson from the story. Love is like a messy kitchen. Sometimes you've got to accept the chaos and share a meal together, even if it means letting someone wipe food crumbs off your face with their bare hands. In the end, love conquers all, even if it started with a rabbit-shaped house sliver.